Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to properly set up an inbound dialer for Go High Level to answer and book sales calls completely for you. And you know, it doesn't even just have to be sales calls. There's different automations you can do, but specifically today, we're going to be going over to sales calls. Now to start off, the reason you would be doing this, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I use Vapi AI to do outbound dialers. However, Go High Level does not allow for you to do outbound right now. Um, it's just a limitation they have. In fact, here if we click over, so we're going to be working out of AI agents today, and then you click voice AI. Uh, the outbound says coming soon uh, if you try to create an agent for that. So I just click create agent. So see, outbound says coming soon. So because of that, we're having to go to third party automations like retail, Vapi AI, uh, little things like that, SinFlow. So the reason you have to do that, again, just because you can't do it here. However, here is the biggest limitation with that that I've been facing. It's hard to have congruency with the same phone number then. So Go High Level has honestly gotten a little greedy with this in the sense that they used to allow you to import Twilio numbers over on Go High Level, and then you could use those for all your automations. Uh, but Go High Level, honestly, I guess for profit monger scenario, uh, they kind of close the doors and they don't even call them Twilio phone numbers anymore. They're called lead connector phone numbers. However, when you really strip it back, all they're doing is white labeling the Twilio number and then um, having you buy it through the lead connector platform. And then essentially, if you buy a number through Twilio and you do want to get it pulled into Go High Level, you have to get it ported. But when you get it ported, the issue is that you lose its capability on Twilio's end. And now why this is annoying is that on Vapi AI, you have to import a Twilio number and you're no longer allowed to import a Go High Level number and then on Retail or SynthFlow it's the same thing. You have to import a third party phone number and it's unfortunately now separate from the Go High Level phone number. Now the reason I'm saying all this is because now imagine you're sending an outbound call and you want to do a text spec automation but specifically do the text spec through Go High Level if you got automations or appointment setters through there. There's a disconnect in phone number. It's a completely different phone number and it's just it looks really ugly. I'm saying all that because as soon as this outbound one comes out, first off I'll have a video for you guys and we'll actually start to run it and have an awesome solution in which we're able to use the native phone numbers within Go High Level. But more so for now, it's I'm going to teach you guys how to set up an inbound caller within Go High Level, which is specifically set up with your Go High Level phone number. And the whole benefit of this, so specifically if you have an AI appointment setter, in fact, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos over appointment setters through SMS channels, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link for a video here right now. And the reason you would use this, oftentimes if a lead is talking with AI, especially if they think it's a human behind the scenes if you get granular you set up wait stagers or you have specific naming conventions or ways of saying things where it really does sound human like sometimes you'll get a phone call from leads and the last thing you'd want is the phone call to go nowhere so if you set up this then you won't have to worry about that ever again in the sense that it'll also you know pick up where the conversation left off and ideally book that sales call for you over the phone so just to back up for a second back on the dashboard uh, you're going to click AI agents go over to voice AI and then we're going to go ahead and create I'll name this one YouTube. Uh, business name, scale agents is fine. And first off, you go ahead and choose your assistant. There's so many to choose from. Um, I'm not going to sit here and actually select a bunch of them, but I would definitely click around and find one that sounds human like. There's a ton at your disposal, so you know, just play around, see what you like, and go with that one. Of course, set your time zone, and then unfortunately, we have to set it as this for right now. And for the initial message, have it say whatever, but assuming that this is an inbound message, you know, have that in mind to so be like, hey, hello, this is blah, blah, blah. Who am I speaking to? So, um, hey, this is Jessica with scale agents who am i speaking with question mark bang easy as that actually before next we're going to click advanced settings uh let's just look through this real quick so call limit five minutes um you'll have to pay for this actual call to be going on it's not that much money it's a few cents but mind you if someone does try to waste your time you know this could become a cause for concern, but you know, five minutes is usually more than enough time. These conversations for appointment setting often last a couple minutes max anyway. So the idle time, as it says here, the AI will uh, remind the contact if a fixed time silence during the call. So it'll be like, hey, hello, or something like that. Just try to keep it going, and if the known responds, then it'll hang up the phone. Okay, so if you're a beginner, most people will probably just click through, but honestly, that does not give us nearly enough information. So we can create a new knowledge base, or if you have any existing ones, we can go through that. I'm going to show you guys how to create an awesome one. Um, and then another thing that we're going to do, so details to collect. In my opinion, there's no reason to really collect this, assuming that it's an inbound lead, just because we already have their information, and we're going to have a log of that. Or essentially what the AI is going to do is ask them. It's like, can I get your address? Can I get your name, email? So, you know, perhaps for your business model, if you need to get someone's address, if you're like a brick and mortar business, you need to go to their house, I'm sure you can do that. We're not going to set that up today, though, because it's kind of unnecessary. So we're going to click switch to advanced mode, and this will give us plenty more information to work with. 
All right, so this is just a pre-existing uh, one that's in there. Let's go ahead and get rid of that because we don't need that. So what we're going to do now is go over to OpenAI, and I'll show you how to prompt properly prompt a uh, AI knowledge base that's specifically set for dialers. So what I did is I said, create me an AI dialer for my company to handle inbound leads that may call. The objective is to answer any significant questions, prompt leads to book a call. Uh, for more information, we offer 30 sales calls in 45 days working with us. Here's a knowledge base for general basis, what to go off of, blah, blah, blah. And then I kind of just spit it out my... Uh, one of my AI appointments that are knowledge bases. Here's what it did. It went ahead and spit me out the AI dialer knowledge base. And so we're going to go ahead and copy this in. And then we'll go from there. So copy, just drop that in. And, you know, with anything as far as AI prompting goes, usually the first go around, it's not going to be perfect. So you're really going to have to, uh, you know, get in there and you know, mess around with uh, AI replies until you get exactly what you're looking for. Another thing to consider, because this is AI and it's just reading everything at face value, if you ever have like something that's not an English word or like a weird company name or something, the AI may mispronounce it. You'll have to really enunciate it. So instead of spelling it the proper way, spell it like how it sounds and then it'll actually like, you know, say it properly. Because at the end of the day, like a person's not going to be reading the script. So as far as doing specific things just to get the word out properly is fine. Now we got this set up. So what we're going to have to do now is set up actions. Like if you see here, it has the link to one of my videos, but this won't really lead anywhere or actually book anyone in, right? So what we need to do is set up an action in order to book them in. So this is the list of actions that we can have. We can do a text back action. Uh, we can do update contact action, but the most beneficial one, and it's just going to have a lot of great use cases honestly trigger workflow is solid too because then you can do a booking and you can do a text or do a ton just kind of realize like what you're going for i would say if you're trying to do multiple actions always go with trigger workflow in which you could literally set up like a whole symphony of information which would be awesome uh but we're just going to do book appointment for now uh go ahead and select your calendar it, since it's tapped in and go high level directly nested in there it's already gonna know all your dates so uh from here you can just pick out whatever significant information you want as far as how the slot needs to be and go ahead and save that and it's cool because this is done to go high level. If you've ever tried to do this on Vapi AI or retail, it's a little more complex just because we're having to set an API to tap into go high level. Luckily this way, because it's locally stored, um, this whole booking process is a lot more user friendly, which is great. Just wait for it to load. All right, so now we have it set to book an appointment. So as you can see here, just for an example, um, so you, you can add separate actions actually. So, you know, if you wanted to have a text back alongside your appointment booking, it can get a little messy if you try to have a bunch of them stored within here. So if you just have one action and you want it to do a whole slew of things as far as send a text message, set a booking, all this, then you could set a workflow. Or, you know, if you're anything like me, I have automations that are separately set up based off calendar booking. So I wouldn't even need a text back calendar booking because I've already got one set up uh, that just gets triggered based off if someone books in in general. And then here's just like an email booking scenario. Scenario. I mean, it's pretty straightforward stuff, guys. And then you could even trigger workflow when everything's complete. So let's say like you want to store all the conversation info or to see all the leads that came through and create a new contact form or update the contact form rather, or maybe tag the contact. So it's like, oh, this lead gave me a call. That's another thing you can do, but we're going to keep it straightforward for this. Go ahead and click next. All right, perfect. So we got that set up. We're going to go ahead and apply the phone number that we're going to have this enabled with. And then you could enter, you know, just an example to uh, send you a call if you want, but we're not gonna worry about that for now. And then now we can just click save. And we've now got a dialer that's directly associated with our phone number. So once this is saved, it takes a minute to save, just be patient with it, cool. And so as you can see, we've now got a dialer set up inbound for a phone number. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a call on my end. Hello, this is Scott. Hey Scott, how can I help you today? Hey, yeah, I was just checking out Scott's VSL and I'm curious to hear more information. Um, what exactly is it you guys do at Scale Agents? Sure thing. At Scale Agents, we help service businesses generate high quality leads using paid meta ads. We also nurture those leads with AI appointment setters and book qualified sales calls automatically. Plus, we manage the full sales process inside Go High Level CRM to deliver predictable client acquisition with minimal human effort. Anything specific you'd like to know more about? Uh, what's your offer? What exactly do I get working with you guys? I'm just trying to see if this is worth it for me. Absolutely. Our core offer includes a paid ad strategy and management, custom funnels, an AI appointment setter system across platforms like Instagram and Facebook, CRM automation with KPI tracking, 
and ongoing optimization with performance coaching. We even guarantee 30 book sales calls in 45 days, or we keep working for free until you hit that number. What type of business are you running right now? Uh, never mind. I don't want to get into all that. Let's go ahead and book an appointment, please. I see we have your email at scottyhenry16 at gmail.com. Is that correct? Indeed, that is. Great. Let's get you booked. How about Tuesday, June 3rd at either 6 p.m. or 7 p.m.? Do any of those times work for you? What does two what does Wednesday's availability look like? Tuesday's not good. No problem. On Wednesday, June fourth, we have slots at four PM, five PM, and six PM. Do any of these work for you? Uh yeah, let's run five PM on Wednesday. Awesome. I've booked your appointment for five PM on Wednesday, June fourth. You'll get all the details in your email. Anything else you need help with? That's it. Thanks. Bye. Awesome. So we're good to go and then I told you guys I already have an automation set up, so if you check out here now, it says like, hey Scott, we got you booked in, here's the meeting link, bada bing bada boom. So we're good to go there, and then here I'll even show you guys on the calendar now. Bang. So 5 p.m., there I am. So we're good to go. So that's all there is to it, guys. And again, so the main benefit of this is specifically if you're anything like me and how I set up my clients using AI appointment setters over SMS channels, it's so good to have this as a safeguard to actually handle any potential lead that does decide to call you up. You know, it really just makes a congruent system. And I know we went through the Jessica voice and she did sound pretty robotic, but again, play around with some of the other voices. I promise you, you'll find one that does sound pretty realistic. Um, and yeah, that's really all there is to it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave any comment in the description below. And just like Jessica said a second ago, we currently offer 30 book sales calls over the next 45 days of working with us, working with me and my team. We will get you sales calls if you're a service-based business with a high ticket offer. So if you're interested to hear more about that offer and how we can actually go about getting those 30 book sales calls, we use system, strategy, AI automation, and most importantly, no bullshit. I got the link down below. You can watch the full video rundown on exactly how we can get this done for you and take you to the next level of strategy. And on that note, I'll see you on the next video.